He showed the world how to fly, anytime, anywhere, before anyone had even heard of the Wright brothers. In balloons, dirigibles, and finally, an airplane. He was the most famous person in his time. I mean, the English papers said that when people looked back at the turn of the century, years from then, they would remember only one name, Alberto Santos Dumont. In many quarters, he was seen as far superior to the Wrights, indeed, as the inventor of flight. He was that legendary figure, 5'4", something like that, but larger than life at the same time, who just reached out and grabbed the public imagination by the lapels. For Santos, flight wasn't just about lift, airflow, and engines. Flying was his theology, based on a belief that flight would unite the world, helping to end war and discord. Sadly, Santos's incredibly colorful and hopeful life would end in tragedy, his name largely forgotten. Yet when modern flight was born little more than a century ago, it was Santos who carried the world aloft on his frail and troubled shoulders. Wings of Madness, right now, on Nova. <laughs>